How you doing? I'm good. Survived another day. Yay. Sitting here playing with my tarot deck. It's really cool. Steampunk. Here, I might as well show you the... Getting all in your face. This is steampunk tarot. Really cool. I'm, I love steampunk. Anything Victorian and, and you know, kind of sci-fi is kind of cool. Anyway. Which I think Firefly was a bit steampunk. That, anyway. I'm going to go there. Greatest show ever. Josh Whedon, you're a genius. I wanted to talk about reality versus... Surreality. Surreality. That's what, that's what we're going to call it. Surreality. The globalists, the, the Marxists, the people in charge, they're, they're surreality. For example, they just nominated a transvestite, a gentleman with uh, who identifies as a lady but has a penis, as a four-star admiral. And this person never even floated in a boat before. Never even had command of a boat. And yet... They are now a four-star admiral because of Let's Go Brandon. <clears throat> anyway, so, I just thought to myself, what about all the actual women with vaginas that were commanders in the Navy that were waiting their whole life to be a, an admiral? And wouldn't that be, you know, groundbreaking to actually have a four-star admiral that actually has a vagina? Just saying. Have nothing against men who have or women who have penis penises. I've I've known I know for a fact that there are some very beautiful men or beautiful women with this just call them women. They're beautiful women with penises. And that but this one, oof, this one is a but no offense. I mean it's not about looks the inside and out is ugly. The outside is as ugly as the inside. I'm just gonna go there. <clears throat> I'm gonna let that go. But that's just one example, a really great example of surreality is let's go brandon and this is interesting because it's the psychological makeup of the reporter at that time who was interviewing a gentleman his name is brandon who just won a race and it's nascar and these fans are very anti-biden so what they decided to do in their chant was the f u biden which is apparently really popular now but anyway in this lady's exuberance to push the global agenda and to cover Joe Biden's ass, basically. Where is Hunter Biden, anyway? But anyway, so this lady says, oh, they're chanting, let's go Brandon. And boy, was that a mistake. So trying to cover up the reality of the situation, this lady just catapulted, catapulted F.U. Biden into another realm. Of acceptability now people can walk around with let's go Brandon on their shirt half the people are gonna laugh and other people are gonna be clueless but that's surreality you gotta love it. it's like that Laurel and whatever that other you know when they're trying to say what what did you what did it sound like oh, that was weird that was that was bad CIA all over that shit anyway I digress but the point is, is people will see what they want to see. They'll believe what they want to believe, regardless of the truth, regardless of reality, regardless of what they only, what they already know. I know people that have flipped from a liberal, from a conservative to a liberal. Somebody who hated Hillary Clinton to loving her thinking she's groundbreaker. I'm not kidding you. And I've seen that within a 10 year span of someone going from the right to the left that hard. And I'm sure there's people going to the left, to the right that hard. I mean, look at that other, that Brandon Stokes or Stokes, that, that gay gentleman that was arrested for being at the Capitol, who's outspoken against, you know, what's going on. He's gay. But <clears throat> at first, that's what I thought Let's Go Brandon was about, because he got, he was in jail and they released him from prison. <clears throat> I thought that's what that chat was. But real, I, then when I realized what the hell that was, I was like, oh my God, that's not about Brandon. Not, is it something about, it's about Joe Biden. Being a horrible fucking dark heart human being who shouldn't be, <coughs> excuse me, who should be in jail for extortion. I could prosecute the gentleman right now for extortion. He actually admitted to it on film. I'm not going to go into it. There's a conference where he actually admitted to extortion and he actually implicated Obama too. So I'm going to let that go. Apparently in this reality, you can pretty much do what you want. 
as, as long as you're a globalist, you can pretty much do money laundering and child sex trafficking, whatever the hell you want, you know, because you're in charge of everything. The FBI, the CIA, and now the military. Yikes. So anyway, yeah, we need Zorro bad. Anyway. <clears throat> so, reality is what you make it, please. So try to be loving and thoughtful, and please, be honest with yourself, first of all. If you know you're lying and you're full of shit, please be honest about it. If you know something is bullshit, please accept that it is, and don't try to promote it. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. Genius. Anyway, have a wonderful day. I love you, God loves you, and the universe loves you. And I want you to love yourself, because once you love yourself, you're not going to hear, Let's go, Brandon. You're going to hear the truth. Have a wonderful day. Love and light. Give you a little slice of reality. Have a wonderful day.